<laughs> right, so it's 7th of January 2024. We're at Nep Castle. This is Kelsey, my granddaughter. Favourite uh, granddaughter? Have a walk. Yeah, favourite granddaughter. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a walk around, and it's all changed. We've got restaurants and um, toilets, and car, big car parts are all in different places. So, yeah, it should be good. Bit of a seating area out there, and um, restaurant over there. Apparently, you can get proper sit down meals or coffees and log burns. And there's a visitor centre. Right, we better go back and find everybody with the dogs. So we're going to you have a, a visitor centre with bits and pieces to buy. Disabled car parking. There's some decent car parking, but of course. We got here a bit later, so we've had to go through under the field. As you can see, it's pretty good car parking, but uh, it's wet weather. That has got some sort of meshing on the grass over there to help help you avoid getting stuck. There's our walking crowd. Uh, daughter, granddaughter, a couple of nephews, uh, granddaughter's boyfriend, and. Uh, nephew's partner and, and son and of course all the dogs you get different coloured walking routes here at NEP all signposted with the different colours so you can follow them around um, well there are footpaths and um, I'd say it's certainly been modernised since the last time I came here you get, I think there's three different walks, red, yellow and white, might be four actually, red, yellow, white and blue, I believe. And you find these little wooden posts with the color coded markers on them. So, uh, and um, so I haven't been for years. They certainly didn't have the visitor center and all this changed car parking, etc. when I came last time. But um, uh, there was certainly a lot of wildlife here. And uh, I guess it just, it's luck of the draw as to what walk you go on as to how much wildlife you see. Um, when I came with my mate, um, we did, I think, a different... Certainly started off in a different way and we, we were lucky and it was in the um, early summer and we saw quite a lot of wildlife. But uh, we'll see. Here comes Kelsey and Harry with Rolo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is in the rewilding project walkers car park. Got the postcode there, so if anybody wants it, just uh, pause and you get that. All garden supplies. Hmm. Our walks have changed, so now you've got uh, not as many different colours as when I was here before. <laughs> ah, looks like we've got a little bit of wildlife. <laughs> Having a good rummage round there, look. Oh, chickens out there, look. <laughs> and I do believe free range chicken eggs for sale here as well, look. <laughs> parking system <clears throat> you're a lot further away from the start of the walk um, when I came the first time we probably literally parked about six seven minutes walk from where we are now but it's taken us best part of half an hour to get here mind you we're an unruly bunch I suppose Storks up there nesting. 
I'm sure we'd say these, okay? Daniel. I can't really you, see them. Can you see them ones? I think yeah. they're smacking their beaks, I think. Well, Clinton was just telling me that apparently Storrington was originally named because you storks were prominent in the area. And the Storrington come from storks. I'll have to look that up. But uh, he's quite a knowledgeable young man, is Clinton. So I have no doubt he's probably right. It's lovely walking around this estate. Um, obviously much nicer on pleasantly warm spring days, autumn days, but it is pleasant. Yeah, so I must um, look up the connection between Storks and Storrington. Um, that would be another thing learned from one of the younger members of my family. Same as how I learnt from my eldest son that the, uh, the River Arran hasn't always run into the sea at Little Hampton and once ran into the uh, joined with the River Ada. So, always got to keep listening, learn something new every day. Yeah, it gets pretty, pretty muddy here this time of the year, as you can see. Whoops. Thought I'd just... Uh, <laughs> Good job I've got my wellies. That's Clinton with his back to us there and was telling me about Storrington. If I remember, I'll see if I can find something out and add it to the video later. Isn't it lovely? I've got two nephews, uh, Chase and Bray, who apparently like watching my little walking videos. So if you watch this, you too, I hope you enjoy it. Of course, being a child, I've had to copy Harry and stand in here. It's amazing how much pressure you can feel from the water, isn't it, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, two kids together. Something to keep an eye open when you're walking net is these little signs, wildlife only. Oh, he does? Yeah, he says he knows this route from his friend does yoga or something just down there and his friend lives up this way. So it's always like, nice to have somebody that knows where you're actually going. Cause, I, knew, I, knew to get, I knew how to get to here. Yeah, because well, I just tend to walk around doing bits of video and then talking to people, you know. Yeah, looks very nice. I probably wouldn't say no to this. Oh, I don't suppose anybody's likely to give it to me, but there you go. Some cattle in the field there, but um, not very good view. And of course I've forgotten, Ollie's got a passenger with him today. <laughs> He's got Foley. <laughs> Hello Foley. Hello little fella. I carried you around last time, didn't I? Eh? <laughs> there you go then. <laughs> right, it's just a, a short walk. We just zipped through Nep, uh, Nep Castle Estate. We haven't really done one of their red, white, yellow or blue walks. Um, obviously, there's a, a few of us and uh, people have different timelines. But we've come out onto Swallows Lane, which is where the car park is. Well, that building is where the, the cafe is. I've just been in and ordered my coffee. And as you see, I've taken a snap of the wine list and the, uh, the menu here at Net Farm.
we only had a little walk this morning and um, came out on the Swallow Lane and just walked back up from there. But uh, when it's not quite so muddy and you walk around, there is lots of wildlife here. There's deer, wild ponies, long wild cattle, the wild pigs, storks, all sorts. Okay, so I'm back home. Uh, I thought I'd add this to my little bit of video. Uh, obviously, it's not got a great deal of the wildlife there today because it is winter, it's very muddy. So we walked sort of, uh, did a short walk through and then came up Swallow Lane. Um, stopped for a coffee afterwards, which is what I thought I'd add this bit. Uh, restaurant's quite nice, etc., etc. But uh, I've posted some photographs, which you'll see at the end of um, the menu and bits and pieces. So um, coffee and that was fine, but be prepared for a sausage roll at nine pound. Um, might be worth thinking if you haven't got a lot, Jane. Mind you, it doesn't matter about money. Everything's paid by card anyway. The car parking, the, there's massive car park. You'll see it as you come in. I went to the wrong place this morning because I've been before and it's all changed. When I went last time, there was just a little tea um, you know, one of these portable cabins uh, that did teas and coffees, but now you've got the restaurant, you've got good seating area outside, you've got a shop, you've got a lot there. Big, big car park, overflow car park, even though it's wet and muddy, they've got this sort of mesh, plastic mesh down, so you shouldn't get stuck. It's it's a lovely place to visit, but and I certainly recommend it spring, summer and autumn when you've got plenty of wildlife and it's a bit dry to walk around. If you do go, enjoy.